If you are tired of Minecraft looking like this and you want Minecraft to look more like this, you have come to the right place because I'm about to teach you how to install Optifine. And as you can see, this is Minecraft 1.19.3. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Let's get started. Okay, guys, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. In here, you can look through the guide and see the screenshots. And if you like to read and look at photos, this is the place for you. But for most of you that are watching the video and want to follow along, just come over here to the website and click on the button that says download optifine here once you click there that is going to redirect you to the optifine.net website the official optifine website and as you can see it says minecraft 1.19.3 right here and it doesn't say download right so what we're going to do is click on preview versions and that is going to open this option right here that is going to allow you to download optifine 1.19.3 there is a chance that in the future when you come over here it just says download as, you, as soon as you come to this website. It just says download, just like in here, and you can click that button and download it from there. But for now, since Optifine 1.19.3 is still in the pre-version, we're going to click here, show all versions, and then we're going to click download. Go ahead and click on the download button. That is going to redirect you over here, where you're just going to wait five seconds without clicking anything. And in five seconds, you should see a button on the top right, say skip, let's just give it a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and click on skip, and that is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to finally click download. Now, once you click on download, the download is going to start automatically, as you can see. In my case, it always asks me where I want to save this file, but for you, it's just going to download. Once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and drop it into your desktop. I'm just going to drag and drop it into my desktop. If you don't have it on your browser, you can find it on your downloads folder. Anyways, once we have the Optifine file, we are kind of ready to start installing Optifine. Now, keep in mind that in order to install any Optifine above 1.16.5, you're going to need to have Java updated on your computer, otherwise it might not work. How do you check your Java version? I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java, the actual software that lets you run Minecraft. So just click where it says type here to search, type auto remove programs, and this is to check your Java version. That's what we're going to do in order to know if you could install Optifine. Just click where it says search this list and type Java. And as you can see, I have Java 17. That means that I'm good to install Optifine. But what happens if you come over here and you don't have Java 17? You have like Java 7 or Java 8 or Java, I don't know, some other different Java, some older version, right? If you have Java 17, 18 or 19, you should be good. But if you have an outdated Java, then it's not going to let you install Optifine. So what do you do to install Optifine if your Java is updated? And keep in mind, this is only if you have Java updated. If you don't have Java outdated, you could just go ahead and double click on Optifine and install it right away. But most of you will have a Java that is outdated. I'm going to show you how to update it real quick. Just go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install Java. This is a very simple process, and I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Go ahead and click where it says download Java here. That is going to redirect you to the Java website, and you're going to scroll down until you find Java 17. Go ahead and click on it, and then select Windows. I'm assuming you're using Windows and then select the x64 installer. Go ahead and click on this blue line right here. And that is going to start the download automatically. Again, it's asking me where I want to save it, but for you, it's just going to download automatically. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the Java installer right here onto the desktop as well. And now we're also going to download Jarfix because we need to run a Jarfix after we install Java in order to update our jar files. And keep in mind that Optifine, the installer, is a jar file. So we need to update that as well in order to run everything smoothly. So click on the fourth link in the description and go ahead and download Jarfix. Jarfix is a very simple process. Just click on this button that says download Jarfix here. And I'm going to show you how to run a Jarfix real quick. Once you're over here, click on this little blue line that says jarfix.exe. And that is going to start the download automatically as well. And also I'm going to put that file onto the desktop. So now we are actually ready to install everything. The first thing you wanna do is get rid of any older version of Java that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on type here to search and I'm going to type out rim programs, of course, and then I'm going to select my older version of Java. Just click on search this list, type Java, and let's say that I had Java 7 or Java 8. I'm going to go ahead and click on uninstall. Once your older Java is gone, you shouldn't see it here anymore. And just go ahead and double click on Java 17 again, or not again, but for the first time to install it, just go ahead and double click on it. And that is going to start the installation for Java 17. Just go ahead and click next, click next, and just wait for that to install. And while Java 17 installs, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting got you right now with 25% off. If you use the first link in the description, you could make a 24 seven server for Java, Bedrock. You could run it with Optifine, with any texture pack, resource pack, X-Ray, anything you wanna do, really Apex Hosting got you. 25% off the first link in the description and let's keep going with the tutorial. 
Now, as you can see, Java actually finished. Wow, that was that was fast. Java actually installed. Let's go ahead and click on close. And we could even get rid of the installer for Java 17. Go ahead and get rid of that. And now we need to run the Jarfix. To run the Jarfix, you guessed it, just double click on it. And it's quite fast. Once you double click on Jarfix, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run. And now you have Jarfix. As you can see, Jarfix 3.0 has been successfully run. Go ahead and click on OK. And you could delete the Jarfix installer. Now we are actually ready to install Optifine. Now, before you double click on Optifine, make sure that you have run Minecraft 1.19.3 vanilla at least once on your computer, right? So open your Minecraft launcher, run the game, close the game, close the launcher. And once the launcher and the game are closed, go ahead and double click on Optifine, just like this. This is going to come up and you're going to click install. You're not going to change anything. And just give it a second because Optifine sometimes takes a little bit. As you can see, in my case, it was actually quite fast. So once Optifine is installed, go ahead and click on OK. And you could even delete the installer for Optifine as well. We don't have any files anymore. And now we're going to test Optifine. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. I'm going to open mine. Hopefully it opens quick because it has been taking long. I don't know why. And there we go. It's loading up. It, this is the part that's been taking long. I don't know if it's just me, guys, or you also have been struggling here on the loading screen for the launcher, but it's just been taking longer than usual. Once we're inside the game, actually, I have the Minecraft for Windows. I have Windows 10 selected. Let me select the Java edition. Once you're inside the game, inside the launcher, I'm sorry, you should see that your Optifine is automatically selected on the left, as you can see right here on the bottom left, it says Optifine 1.19.3. Yes, this is not a fake. This is the real Optifine right there. So what happens if you come over here and your Optifine is not selected? Well, don't worry because I'm going to teach you how to fix that. Let's say you came over here to the launcher, Optifine wasn't showing down there. You're just going to click on installations and you're going to make sure that modded is selected because as you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see Optifine. And if that doesn't do it for you, just click on new installation name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Optifine 1.19.3. And then where it says version, let's scroll down until you find Optifine 1.19.3. As you can see, it says Optifine right there. And then you click create here on the bottom right. And that is going to create an instance of Optifine in your computer. But for me, it did work initially. As soon as I open it, Optifine was here on the bottom left. Let me go ahead and select that again. And for most of you, that is also going to work if you follow along the tutorial. So let's go ahead and launch this up. Obviously, it's going to prompt you with the understanding the risk thing. Go ahead and click on play and let's see if Optifine is working. As you can see, Minecraft is loading up. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. If it lets me, there we go. And when we open it, it says Minecraft modded. As you can see, it's modded. And if we click on options, we see what we want to see in here on video settings. We see the shaders folder and we see a bunch of different new settings. That is because Optifine, as you can see here on the bottom left, it also says Optifine HD. That is because Optifine is running successful. Now, since this is the pre version of Optifine, I don't know if it lets you add shaders. I'm going to go ahead and try that real quick. Let's go ahead and click on video settings, shaders, and let's go ahead and try some shaders. These are some old shaders I have. I don't know if they're going to actually work. And if they do, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Actually, they do work. So there you go. This version of Optifine lets you add shaders, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn how to add shaders, I'm going to leave a video here on how to add some shaders in case you want to run some shaders like me. Anyways, don't forget to like and comment. And as always, bye bye.